Hi everyone, you are welcome again. Welcome to Beginners English Platform. Um, I hope you are doing good. So today I'm teaching on words and phrases of quantity. I have given sentences on that so that you can understand. Um, so words describing quantity are used to explain an adjective or a noun. So these little yellow words are just the meaning of an adjective and the meaning of a noun in case there is anyone there who is asking what is what is an adjective now. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but if you go back to my videos, I explained in detail nouns. I also explained what are countable nouns, what are non-countable nouns. Mm -hmm. So the quantity word you use is determined by the type of noun you use, whether it is a countable or non-countable noun. So um, the example we have about the words and phrases of quantity, the first one is much. It is used with uncountable nouns. So the first example is there is much interest in learning English. You can see it, interest. We can't count interest. That's why that's why it's um it's being said it's used with non-countable or uncountable. The other sentence is how much water did you add? So we can't count the water. So here we're using this, this word of quantity with the non-countable noun. Uh, the other word is many. Use, it is used with countable nouns. Our examples are how, how many boys are there? We all know we can count the boys if they are there. And many of them went home which means these many could be counted. And we have a lot of, or lots of, used both with uncountable and countable. Example, lots of your friends graduated. So this is countable because the, the friends, obviously they could be counted. And um, the uncountable example is lots of rain fell this season. And the countable example, a lot of people are buying his product. Uncountable, he drank a lot of water. <coughs> Excuse me. A little. He used with uncountable nouns. Example, there is a little salt in my food. The kids know a little about the subject. So you can you can see all oh, these are uncountable nouns, the salt and the no. Um a few a few the word a few is used with countable nouns. We have an example here. A few people left early. And we have some. So some means neither a lot or little. So some is used both with countable and uncountable nouns. Example of countable nouns is some kids didn't come to class. And the other one, some girls went on trip. And then the other, the uncountable part, Pour some water in my glass. I have some money to buy what I want. And then we have all. All is used with countable and uncountable nouns. Example for countable. I ate all the oranges. The other sentence. I lost all my bank cards. The example of uncountable noun, noun um, being used by the quantity word 
he kept all the meat frozen. He wasted all his time chasing after her. So you can see all these under, underlined words. Those are the quantity words. The, the ones I underlined. And then we have no. No is used with countable and uncountable nouns. The first example is um, there is no one at home. Means these people could be countable, you know. If there was one person, then we could count, we could say there is one person at home or there's two people at home. And the other one is no child is allowed in the bar. Um, the example for the ones used with uncountable nouns, there is no water in the dam. There is no peace in that family. Like we, we can't count the peace. And then we have the word plenty of used with countable and uncountable nouns. Example, countable. They brought plenty of reading books for the kids. Example for uncountable. There is plenty of research on that subject. Yeah, that was it. That was a short lesson for you, but uh, so much to learn and so much to nibble. <laughs> yeah, like I always say that um, if you haven't subscribed so that you won't miss, you know, the upcoming content because there's so much, so much to give, just uh, click the subscribe button and share with your friends as well. That would be very nice. So I will see you again very soon. And enjoy your day wherever you are. Bye-bye.